That, 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 that's her responsibility, not mine. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> All right. So, well, so the first article, though, um, no, I don't really need any responses or something. It's just more of an update on what we also talked about last week with Blue Point Games. Uh, we mentioned how Sony had acquired House Marquee and possibly Blue, Blue Point. Uh, so the development studio, you know, since it's so recognized for like AAA games uh, or remastering AAA games, they have now denied that they have been acquired by Sony. In a recent tweet, they've said that Blue Point Games is a fully independent, self-funded studio. We are always looking for talented engineers, artists, and designers to join the team. So there's still rumors out there that they probably don't even know that they got acquired, or maybe they're just still in the process of it. So they still have, they still can say, mm -hmm. de deny it. So uh, I mean, we'll see what that leads to, and of course, we'll just leave more updates as we go along with that. Um, the second article, Game Informer has an article that talks about what the directors of Final Fantasy VII Remake want for their next part of the Final Fantasy VII Remake game, part two. Uh, they explain an interview that's with the Washington Post, quote, both directors talked about how Intermission's cast of characters and flashy combos will inform the future of Remake. For instance, the synergized attack that Yuffie and Sonon performed together will definitely be making a return. Additionally, with Intermission... There's another element introduced, combo moves where Yuffie and Sonon team up, which makes for a different feel in the battle strategy. Hamaguchi said, I would like to leverage these, including other elements we tried out in Intermission in our next story. Uh, Danny has more uh, more of a grasp on this concept because I, I this whole article was a bit confusing for me on what they exactly they want to do. So, Danny, you want to explain it some more? Basically, they want to try to use the synergy markers. A lot of the complaints of the Final Fantasy seven is that the remake is that the characters in the background don't do anything all they do is block and you know and they're they're kind of useless i mean they're not as bad mm -hmm. as the origin but they're they are pretty bad mm -hmm. um so they've have like they've already tweaked the ps5 version of the synergy material and synergy material before was you know you quit synergy with let's say thunder and every time you do a uh, spell, that's what I used to work on the PS4 anyway. Every time you do a spell, if they had an ATB and if they had mana, they would also they would do done there automatically. Or like a but follow up. They have, they have, yeah, follow up is extra. Every time you used a move or an attack, if they had an ATB and if they had <clears> mana, <throat> then they would do it. Now they fixed it so where it doesn't cost an ATB and it doesn't cost mana. So you can kind of span your moves and Aerith just like Odin on Thunders and stuff and make her more useful. Mm. Well, and that was just like one example of them fixing some of the material in the game. And they want to make the whole game kind of like that where they are more responsive to what you're doing. You know, if you're mm. attacking, they're attacking, things like that. And they're listening and trying to get it worked out but not be because if you main one of the like Tifa or whatever it is, you can do all types of crazy combos. You don't want the mm -hmm. computer doing all types of fucking crazy combos and killing the boss when you don't even get to touch them. That's no fun. Mm -hmm. So so they have to have that balance. Also another thing is that they have a lot of tag team moves, synergy moves in the integrate. And mm -hmm. obviously they want to integrate that into the new system. So you'll have Barrett, you know, whatever it is, Barrett throws Tifa or something shit like that, you know, and it, it it leads to a lot more combinations of possibilities of things they can do, which will change the entire mechanic of the game, the whole feel of the game. Mm -hmm. mm. So this isn't just like just smart AI. This is more mechanics on how the player can manipulate the uh, the other characters, right? Yeah, exactly. It's like giving you options because right now there's so many different options of ways you can combine material like that's the only part of to me i think that's part of the problem is that people have gone have been able to mess with it so much for this past few years that they've got every little nuance or what every little move does and perfected mm -hmm. it so when the new one comes out if the, they use the same material it's almost mm -hmm. not going to be as fun but you know we'll see yeah you know they, again but it's not like they might change it up completely and you're not gonna know what to expect at all kevin did you did you get to play uh the remake? No, I still have it on my backlog. Mm. Um, I'm going to play it this weekend because I'm going to have some extra time. So I'll 
see how far I can get through it, and I'll let you guys know. Uh, you mean uh, this guy is not going to take up most of your time? The sky has already stolen my heart, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I I kind of took a break from the sky because I like I, I wanted to focus on games that I can complete like real fast, so I can like clean out clear out my uh, backlog because I have a lot of Metroidvania games, yeah, and a lot of other RPGs. So I want to clear those out first and then jump into the sky. So you also have time for a Neo: The World Ends with You Part mm-hmm. Two. So you, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna wa- I'm gonna watch the anime. Oh, of course, I'm gonna watch the anime. And play the game. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like a lighthearted threat, but <laughs> Randy. Oh, so Randy, or Randy, you're back. So what were your thoughts on that Final Fantasy stuff? Um, I I didn't finish it, so I'm like, I, I also didn't play Integrate, so I'm not entirely sure about everything that's being said. Mm-hmm. But um, because this girl was fucking up, I wasn't able to really tell if like Sober was into the idea or not. And obviously, if if oh, he yeah. is, then I'll, I'll have hope for it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, see, he, uh, he, I'm I'm very really, I'm really excited for it. Like I'm extremely excited. I, like they need to have a different from part one to part two and i think they need to have a drastic difference otherwise it's gonna be like why the fuck can take this long to make the same mechanic mm-hmm. you know and just extend the storyline so mm-hmm. and i think that's what they're working on is just making it feel like a sequel and not just an a addition. carbon copy, a carbon or, copy. Or, or, or a big dlc or something i know, also you... i also I, I feel like you know Square is very very cautious when it comes to Seven because of that that very huge fan base. So I think they're like being super super careful about what they release and how they release it, especially for a sequel. Mm-hmm. Mm. You, you know, I, you, you know, there's something that I realized about sequels, prequels, um, remakes. You're not gonna please everyone. Like, mm-hmm. there's gonna be mechanics that some people like from the remake that they didn't like from the original. And like, yeah. like walk, walking on eggshells to please everybody is, like it, it's it makes the game. I would say for me personally, at least take longer because you have to cater to everyone rather than just cater to the the fan base that's going to play the game that played the play the remake, played the original, enjoyed it, or the the newcomers that are playing the original. I mean the remake, and they're like, oh, this is really fun. I wonder mm-hmm. what they're going to do next. Don't like don't be scared to like put your idea out there. You know the thing I mean? is, though, the thing is, I think they've done. This is one of the few games that's out there that have done a good job at pleasing both the fanboys of Final Fantasy VII, like myself, and you know, making it new. Bringing I new mean, they in. they integrated mm-hmm. every aspect of the Final Fantasy VII you could think of. You know, the mm-hmm. material the names of material, the summons, everything, and they made it because it has a very similar mechanic just done in a remake, like done in mm-hmm. much bigger scale, you know, and it's very nicely done, and there's nothing negative anybody can say, and even the integrate part thing was really well received, mm-hmm. you yeah. know, it, 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 it had Yuffie, and Yuffie had a different mechanic, completely different mechanic from any other other, other people. She can do air combos, so tons of air attacks, you know, drop them down. You know, it was just, it was completely different because there were no crazy air combos like that. And, I mean, they had air attacks, don't get me wrong, but they weren't like that. It was yeah. extreme difference. It was so like you, Devil May Cry you know, style. Yeah, mm-hmm. it really was, and it was, and it makes oh. sense, and it's fun. So, and then the even the synergy stuff was fun to use and to beat down and kind of cheese with. So, mm-hmm. if they can do that right with all the rest of the characters, the game's gonna be fucking beyond, you know, what anybody's expectations. I think because mm-hmm. it's like you have, oh my god, oh, what if Eric does this with you? Feel like you have all these combinations you think can happen, and it's gonna be fun. Yeah, you know, I just want the game to come out already. I'm just tired. <laughs> they also talked about. Yeah, I'm really tired. They also talked about making rumors of making it open world. Mm-hmm. So you, you I mean, mean like I, have the the overworld like they did in the once you get out of Bidgar and stuff? 
Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Midgard, when you were in Midgard, even in part seven, it was very linear. It was supposed to be. You know, you were going from point A to point B. Mm-hmm. That was the whole point. And even if mm-hmm. even the open world was linear, if you think about it, like you couldn't, you had to go to that first town, and after the first town, you had to go to the Chocobo place, and after mm-hmm. the Chocobo place, you had to go through the sand, the pit sand, because you couldn't go through the pit sand because the giant snake. snake. Yeah. Exactly. Like it was very linear. So it just gave you the illusion of open world. Mm-hmm. And this might do the same thing. <laughs> That's very true. But... Like they, they only had the only thing that you could stray away from was like very small side missions or uh, the condor, yeah. the condor, the condor, the whole condor <laughs> thing was optional too. You didn't have to really yeah, do that one. Either. Side missions. Yeah. yeah they Wait, make not... you do it. They make you do it towards the storyline part where they make you go there. Yeah. And defend That's much it. Later. But. Yeah, yeah. That's, but there's still the saving and getting determined or whatever it was all optional. So, Wait, but there's still. T- I have a, I have a question. Are, do you think they're gonna add the uh, the Chocobo mini game? Or they already did. Which one, the racing game? Yeah, I think oh, they're I'm gonna sure. save that. For, <laughs> the, the, I think they're gonna they have to save it for when they go to uh, the Golden Saucer. Golden Saucer. Yeah. And yeah. Will they add the Golden Saucer? On this? I don't know. Maybe not like, the second. Golden Saucer is very deep into the. Second CD, so well, yeah. second CD, maybe I don't know. I don't uh, remember. Yeah, because it was Cosmo Canyon. You go to Cosmo Canyon, and then you go to was it Nibelheim first, and then Cos, and then a uh, Golden Saucer, or was it the other way around? Because you had to go to Barrett's hometown afterwards. I can't remember. Yeah, I'm not a hundred percent on yeah. the order, but maybe it was the first CD. But that, it still is so far into the game. So maybe maybe yeah. the remake part three they'll they'll have the golden saucer and the <laughs> chocobo racing. The yeah, exactly. Edition. Yeah, I I mean it's it's just so much when it comes to mini games and storyline that was in, um, the the golden saucer that they would have to put into depth and you know they have to make it bigger so like you can see it it golden saucer even. Maybe even be in its own DLC or something, you know? Like, I wouldn't put it past them mm-hmm. to have it as its own DLC and you make it part. That... Huh? It depends on how they do it, you know? I mean, it could be part of the, if it's part of the lore and it's part of the game to extend the game, maybe. Intermission be too. Bad. And they'll introduce Kate Sith. Maybe Kate Sith will be the main character. Yeah, I mean, you could have that, like or... that. I mean, I think Kate Sith's going to pop up sooner. Mm hmm. I think that's, I, I mean, cause they did show him at the end of part one, so. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. So who knows? Uh, he might pop up and they might do Golden Sauce. That's what they're hinting at. Yeah. But, you know, see, the way it's going to be exciting. 